Welcome in, welcome in, and welcome back, Mile High Race fans. And Merry Christmas to y'all from the safety crew at Mile High Raceway. Really appreciate you stopping in to check out this two race lineup that we have tonight. We got the grocery getter race and we got the stock shootout that's happening tonight. Both races pretty good. Can't really complain about them whatsoever. Had a lot of fun shooting them. And I really think you guys are going to enjoy this. But uh, most of all, um, Merry Christmas. Just wanted to get this video out for the holiday. And hopefully you guys get a laugh or two in and really enjoy the entertainment and the content. So without further ado, here is the Grocery Getter lineup. In the tower lane, we have Bowtie Trevor in that Chevy Nomad Gasser. And that thing is sitting stout, looking real nice on the track right now. But let's see what you got, Bowtie Trevor. We heard some good things. And I don't know if it's that competition cams retro livery on this one, but I'm taking Tower Lane on this one, folks. And we got him going up against Wood Panel Stan and that Mercury Woody. And woo, boy, look at that wood. You can even see the grain underneath that number 57 on the side. Man, that boy looked clean. Got them Hoosier slicks on there. Even got that big block blower sticking out the hood. It's about to be a good race. Now let's get into it. grocery getters were getting after it but it was my man bowtie trevor bringing that bowtie to the w by a car length over the mercury and let's take a look at the different angle here looking at those burnouts and those reaction times posted up in the left and right corner at the top of your screen looks like they both got off to a almost even reaction time and i'm sure we're gonna see these two line up again because i know mercury wants revenge now let's get into that next race that stock shootout and in this one we have that stereotypical muscle on muscle dodge versus chevy in that tower lane we have double deuce steve driving that super b looking as clean as it did the day it rolled out the showroom floor and he's rolling up against zesty orange george driving in that spectator lane and ooh, damn that thing is real zesty I don't know if he has an actual SS out there or if he just threw on those decals and put that hood on there or not. But we're about to find out. Here we go. Man, Double Deuce Steve and Zesty Orange George were neck and neck the entire strip. And at the end, it looks like that small block Chevy, and it must have been an SS, comes away with the win. Congrats to you, Zesty Orange. Let's take a look at that quick burnout that these stock cars had, and let's take a look at those reaction times. Bang, right on the money, real close. And oh, what is this? John Force showing up in a trailer that apparently nobody saw to come out here and run a special pass. Man, what a special surprise on Christmas. We really appreciate everything you've done for this sport, John Force. Thanks for coming out and honestly blowing us away with an amazing surprise today. We're really looking forward to this pass. I can't believe it just pulled up right up to the burnout area, come out of nowhere. Thanks again, and hats off to you again for everything you've done for this sport. Enjoy your mile high racetrack pass. Shut in the drag strip down John Force, showing us all what it's like to be at the top of the game. Man, thanks again for coming out. Very surprised and really appreciating you doing this last pass tonight on this race night. Wanted to thank you all for tuning in. Tell you all Merry Christmas. Here's a couple of photos 
of the track in its new location, all decked out for Christmas. I'll see you in the new year. Peace.